What's up, YouTube? It's your guy, Rich. A.K.A. Richie Fit. You already know what to do about that, man. Sorry for the wait. I'm so, so sorry for the wait. But, as y'all read the title, I have an amazing, amazing video for y'all today, man. I know y'all been waiting for it. I know it's eat season. Summer is right around the corner as we speak. So I know y'all trying to get cut up. So I got some tips for y'all, man, who have, for the people that have been hitting fat loss plateaus and people that just want some tips on uh, trying to lose some weight. So make sure y'all get y'all notepad out and pen to take down these notes because we about to get started. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. Number one, number one, start slow. Um, weight loss is a marathon and not a sprint. A lot of people get the misconception that um, they can just drop their calories by 500 calories a day, which, you know, 500 times 7 is 3,500 calories. There are 3,500 calories in one pound of fat. So people think that by dropping their calories by 500, 500 calories a day, they're going to reach their goals. Do not do that. Do not fucking do that. I'm telling y'all right now, do not do that. It might sound like the thing to do, but don't do that. Do not do that. And I'm going to tell you why. Your body will adjust to whatever you throw at it. So if you start off cutting 500 calories a day, that 500 after three weeks, four weeks, that's not going to be enough anymore. So then you're going to have to cut off another 500 a day and then another 500 a day and then another until you're eating like absolutely nothing and you're, you're just going to be stuck wondering like why the hell am I not losing weight and I'm eating one cracker a day like don't don't do that it is a marathon and not a sprint remember that guys remember that number two number two a lot of people think that um just by eating just by hitting a certain calorie number, they're good. No, eat cleaner. Eat cleaner. Um, just because you're getting just because you're getting um, three thousand calories in a day, and that's what it uh, takes for you to lose your weight or whatever. You know, let's say two thousand calories. We'll we'll go with that. Two thousand calories. Just because you're hitting that number, does not mean that you're necessarily going to lose weight if you're not eating the right things. If you're getting those calories from fucking McDonald's and donuts and shit, like don't expect to lose the weight. So eat cleaner. Eat cleaner. You'd be surprised how many people try to pull that shit and then they wonder why they don't fucking lose weight. So I had to throw that in there just for y'all who were wondering. All right. Another one. Um if if you're one of those people that um, does like four to five sets in the gym, you know, 10 to 12 reps or something or whatever. Add one set to the end of each movement. So if you're doing a bicep and tricep day and you typically do um, three movements for each, um, add one set of 15 to the end of each one of those movements. So we'll do the math. I got my phone right here. So We'll do that math. So 15 times, if you if you go, if you're doing three movements for biceps, three movements for triceps, and you're adding 15 to each set, that'll be times six. So in one day, you're doing 90 extra reps. 90. Now, if you work out five days a week, that's 450 extra reps every single week if you're working out five days a week so that can also help you break through a fat loss plateau um next up we got um and this this is going to be um it's gonna sound kind of wrong uh to do but trust me on this guys trust me i've been doing this for quite some time um you may need to take a week off flat out plain and simple take a week off sometimes if you don't want to take a week off, uh, take a deload week. You know, uh, sometimes the body needs to rest and recuperate um, to get back to where it needs to be. Like sometimes you're just pounding yourself into the ground. So take take a break. That's all you need. Try it. Um, next up, have a cheat meal. 
believe it or not, now I won't, um, I won't exaggerate this. Uh, some people like to exaggerate and say it increases your metabolism by fifty percent. Like, nah, don't expect that. Um, have a cheat meal. Having a cheat meal can increase your metabolism by ten percent. Ten percent by having a cheat meal. Now, keep it professional. I'm not saying have a fucking cheat day. Have a cheat meal. You know, don't go fucking berserk and go try to eat like 3,500 calories in one sitting. Like, no, don't do that. Keep it professional, you know. Uh, but but have a cheat meal. Have a cheat meal. You know, get something good in. And uh, it, can, it can increase your metabolism by 10%, believe it or not. Uh, another one. And this this is mostly for you ladies out there. Um, start lifting. Start lifting. Trust me. Believe me. I I know you women are worried about getting big and bulky, but it is really hard for the woman for a woman to get big and bulky. Trust me. You have too much estrogen in order to do that. The women that you see in the magazines that are jacked and fucking bigger than me, they're taking steroids. I mean, let let's let's just keep it let's just keep it honest. Let's just keep it 100 right here. They're taking fucking steroids, all right? You're not going to get big and bulky because you lift. Um, think of it this way. The bigger the engine, the more gasoline it burns. Same thing with the body. The more muscles you have or the more muscle tone you have, the more calories you can burn. Um, me at uh, 200 pounds and a woman who's 200 pounds aren't going to be able to eat the same amount of calories. Um... I have a lot more muscle than a woman does, so I can get away with eating a lot more calories than a woman who is 200 pounds would. So, start lifting some weights, ladies. And for you gentlemen who don't lift weights, that like to get on the treadmill and run on, lift some weights. Lift some weights. Alright? Um, if you don't already use a thermogenic, if you're comfortable using a thermogenic, use a thermogenic. I mean, that, that, that in itself can can aid in that weight loss journey, can help you break through a fat loss plateau. Now, I'm not say, saying thermogenics are miracle pills, all right? Let's get that straight. They're not fucking miracle pills, okay? But they can help, they can help with your weight loss as well. So add those in if you've got the money for it or if you're hitting a fat loss plateau and you don't already use them. Also, um... When it comes to cardio, like I said, the body adjusts to whatever you hit it with. So, um, if you're doing 10 minutes of cardio, that 10 minutes eventually will have to turn into, you know, 30, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Instead of instead of doing all that, add in some hit training. Add in some hit training, high intensity interval training. It's all out effort. Well, here's an example. Um, get on a bike, stationary bike. Pedal for 60 seconds at a steady at a steady pace, nice steady pace, and then go all out as hard as hard and as fast as you can go for 30 seconds, and then go 60 seconds at a steady state, and then all out for 30 seconds. That's what hit training is. Um, it'll it will help you burn more calories during and after you're done. Believe it or not, you continue to burn calories after doing cardio, and that effect. And that um, effect is is multiplied when you do HIIT training versus um, just jogging on a treadmill at a steady state. So throw in some HIIT training. Um, that can help you break through your fat loss plateaus. Next up, drink some damn water. Drink some water. Um, a lot of most, most people really don't get in enough water a day. Believe it or not, I mean... The body is over 70% water. Like that fact alone should tell you how important water is to the human body. Um, it helps flush out all those bad toxins and uh, helps kick or uh, turn on that metabolism in the morning to get you going. So make sure you are well hydrated throughout the day, and that can um, really help with uh, your fat loss. Um, one other tip um, is just like doing simple stuff. You know, um, instead of parking, you know, really close to the door of wherever you're going into to work or to the grocery store or to the gym um, park farther away um, instead of taking the elevator take the stairs um, those those extra calories um, may seem very minute but over time they add up 
um, and they can aid you um, in your weight loss journey. So add some smaller things that may help you burn extra calories and over time that will add up and help you in your weight loss journey. So there you go. Lastly, um, but certainly not the least, I'll end this video here. I can't give y'all all my tips now, all right? But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give y'all some good ones, okay? All right, so last, reduce your stress. Um, when you stress, you produce a hormone called cortisol. And basically, what cortisol does is, uh, to keep it short, we won't get too technical with it, but it tells your body to store fat. So reduce your stress, like, uh, you know, um, get out of those stressful, situ whatever stressful situations you are in, get out of those. Um, the way I, the way I walk through life, man, and this may help some of you, um, if I can change it, why stress about it? I'll just change the situation. You know what I mean? So there's no need to stress about it. If you can change it, just make the adjustments and, and change the situation. If I can't change the situation, why stress about it? There's nothing that I can do about the situation. It's already predetermined. I can't do anything about the situation. So how is stressing going to change what situa situation I'm in? So that, that's the way I walk through life, man. You know, I, I rarely ever stress about anything. I can't tell you the last time I stressed about anything. You know, I, I'm pretty smooth, you know. Um, but yeah, um, if that helps you, you know, go through life with that mindset. If you can change it, why stress about it? You can change the situation. It's going to be changed. It might take a little time, but shit, so what? It's going to change. So there's no need to stress about it. If you can't change it, such as a death, why stress about it? I mean, is it, fuck. Stressing about the situation, you know, if it, if it were a death, stressing about the situation isn't going to bring that person back. So why do it? A little food for thought for y'all, man. But with that being said, make sure y'all mash that like button. Make sure you comment down below as well. Oh, and hit that subscribe button before you go too. You know what I'm saying? Because we keep it real. I keep it raw. And I keep it authentic. And remember, you can't say fit without putting Richie with it. Let's eat, family. Let's eat.